Okay, here we are. I feel like I've read this guy's name before, but I don't remember quite who he is, but I was talking to him in the chat afterwards. He's real good. Uh, real strong young player. This is a bad matchup for Oro, but more importantly, it's my personal worst matchup. I'm really shit here. I like barely play this matchup, and when I do, I usually get my shit pushed in. I think Aura is actually not too bad in neutral here, but I've never like explored neutral. So like I could theoretically like play around with like low strong and low forward and like do okay. Um, but I usually just look for like the heavy hits, and that hurts me a lot. Aura can run away from Gene really well, but like I don't try to hang in neutral. That wasn't a combo, but that was. And if I was trying to hang in neutral, I think that would probably be a lot better. Uh, but this guy used to play Hrov a lot, and Hrov is an aura that's better than me. And, um, you know, he played like he knew the matchup pretty well. I don't know how, like, truly well he knew it, but he was doing, like, some pretty smart stuff. He wasn't, like, playing, like, he was just playing a good Yon, and, like, a little bit of anti aura. He was good about the movement, I would say. And I think he was good about the counter pokes, too. Like, one thing Yon can do is the shoulder actually beats all my pokes except, like, low forward. It, like, goes underneath the hitboxes of my pokes. So, like, random shoulder is actually not too bad in neutral. I hate when Yon's do that, and he does that a little bit. Look at that. Good job keeping me in the corner. Super good job. He's not doing any, like, particular thing to keep me in the corner. He's, he's like, randomizing it the same way I'm trying to randomize my escape. But he did, like, a really good job. I don't fight that many Galaxy Brain Yuns, and this guy, like, solidly outplays me. I should, like, play this game more. But also, like, sometimes when I play this game, it feels like I'm just, like, on a plateau. Like, I've, like, taken my combos. And I'm not 100% consistent with my combos. I know some combos I could learn that would make me a better player. But, um... Um... The neutral stuff. Sometimes I just feel like I'm getting outplayed and I don't know the direction to go to, like, get better. Which is a feeling I don't have a lot. One parry into throw. I had to do two parries to get a close strong, I think. But throw is faster. I cashed out. Little teeny cash out. I think versus Yun, you can do two hits of Stand Strong into Medium Stomp and then get a um, heavy EX, heavier EX uppercut or a Stand Hard Kick. I usually do Stand Hard Kick. So yeah, Low Strong, like, counter-poking his Low Strong, that was kind of cool. That was a not a punish. Uh, I got him. If I just did, like, fucking Super, he would have been dead. That dive kick wasn't a combo, but it was plus enough that I couldn't do anything and I tried to do something. I actually really like Yuns who do the towards medium kick in Gene. And by that I mean I like, you know, I think it's dumb versus Oro versus anyone. Um, but I mostly let him do it, this guy. I like struggle to stop him. Uh, towards medium kick is only a single parry and it's unsafe if it's parried. And because it's mid air, um, Yun is, uh, Yun can't cancel it to other stuff. And more importantly, uh, if I'm just holding down back, I can theoretically react to it and do a light uppercut and it counter, it counter hits it. So ha me having a knockdown out of something he can do. And also it doesn't lead to anything when it works. So overall, I like really don't mind when Yuns are doing that a lot. He's doing it kind of a lot early on. He kind of like, he switches over to Universal Overhead more later on, which is like better. But like similarly risky. Oh yeah, that beats my Fireball too, as you would probably expect. Shoulder uh, goes under Fireball. Very really difficult situation by me, or from me. Really, really, really nice job keeping the corner. It's Oro has the best mobility in the game. Keeping the corner against him is not simple. I think Daigo had like a fucking interview about Third Strike where he says he like doesn't win even when he gets the opponent in the corner, and that's why he doesn't like the game. Positional advantage means nothing. But I think Daigo was high. I think Daigo's a super smart guy, but I think he was high on that particular quote. Because, one... <laughs> I feel very helpless when I'm in the corner in this game against a good player. And two, uh, Daigo played Ken, who actually does get like significant improvements on his his stuff when this opponent's cornered. But I think he was thinking about it in terms of Street Fighter 2 and like Ryu Trap, Ryu Fireball Trap. Or maybe like Street Fighter 4 Ryu, I don't know. It wasn't recently this interview happened. I would say this Third Strike has one of the least advantageous corners, though, of all Street Fighters. I didn't quite have a super, but I think I had something there to, like, maybe get a Tengu. Meteor build is really slow in this matchup. Because, um... Uh... 
I can't chicken Yun most of the time. If you parry that, you can punish Yun. And you can parry it low or high, and it's reaction parryable, but it's not easy. Well timed by me, I think. I cash out. It was too risky not to do that, I think. That uh, that always works. When I do a whiffed button, and they like go for wake-up parries, and then I wait a super long time and do another button. They're never like timing a parry like that, and it still beats anything they can do. Try the parry. Didn't work. That low medium kick uh, command grab was supposed to be stay medium kick command grab, which would have worked. But I was, after the low parry, I was still holding down when I hit the medium kick. Oops. Now things are looking pretty dire for yours truly. Perfect juggles. Those enders give Yon a bunch of meter back. I thought I was going to get the midair chicken, but I didn't. I think you can do a super late cancel into chick into stomp or like something like that and get a regular chicken on Yon, but it's like really precise. There's some like bizarre trick that allows chicken to work on him. And I died. If I parried that uh, dive kick, things would have been pretty good, but I might have been in parry lock. Kind of poked. Oro's hitbox is beyond fat at the setup of his fireball. It usually doesn't matter too much, but good players can exploit it. Oh no. Raw activate is good for me too, but Yun builds meter a lot faster than I do. But I can do similar things on my raw activates. Oh, he's like better mid screen, I guess. It's like similar. Raw activates mid screen are not good for either character. Beautiful. I got two matches with this guy, so let's watch the other one. I don't often get my ship pushed in in this game. There aren't that many players, you know, who I regularly interact with who are better than me. I would say there aren't that many players better than me in general. Not to, like, toot my own horn or anything. But there's, like, an, there's a little elite crowd on Fightcade. And in the real world. I'm like rusty, but I think if I wasn't rusty, I wouldn't be doing any better against this guy. I've always been weak against this kind of play. I like never learned how to fight it. Oh, uh, I was too slow. I didn't have time for that. I thought that cross up was brilliant, but I didn't get off in time. I tried to uppercut that and I got hit out of startup maybe. It's really hard because you can't trade versus Yam when he's in Gene. So, like, there are two hitboxes interacting. His just win. I usually just hold down back and I wait for anything airborne that I can, like, uppercut. That's, like, the best thing that can happen to you in Gene. It still sucked, but look how little damage I took. Ugh, that chase. Wasn't expecting that. Ugh, it's close strong there is probably good. But, like... Blocking a dive kick into immediate close strong feels hella stupid. I tried roundhouse there, I just, that was too early. It's actually kind of tight. My jump was really bad. I could have double jumped, but he still could have anti me after whiffing the dash punch. So there was like nothing really good for me to do there. Beautiful ender. And now I'm just fucking sitting here like what the fuck do I do? That was actually a punish on the bad palm. Oh yeah, me fucking SA2. That's, I think that's unsafe. But I fight it so rarely. That I don't actually know. Uh, I parried, but he hit me so deep that like my parry didn't matter. Beautiful. If I parried that, I had air throw, I guess. But I, you know, I didn't know that that was what he was gonna do. I should do jump and parry more because he is trying to meet me there. But especially if he jumps back, I don't get anything super good off of uh, air parry. But I should still take something instead of nothing. It just sucks to have to make that read. Got him. I say 2 in this matchup is really bizarre. Look at that. I had Crutch Fierce into SA2, which was probably better than what I did. Oops. I accidentally jumped back out of the corner, or jumped back into the corner. I meant to need to jump upward. Just double, double jump upward. But I just fucked it up. But fortunately, Yun has low HP, so he died anyway. Ah, uh, I tried to parry it. I didn't get it. I was too early. The shoulders have different timings depending on the version he does. I parried it like it was going to be instant, but it hit like a little delayed. Ugh. Ugh. 
<laughs> that was a punish on the left forward, I think. I wonder if he could have dash punched. Dead. Not quite dead. That might have been a whiff punish on my whiffed air normal. I don't know. If it wasn't, then I could have, like, if I wasn't doing anything, I could have, like, done a shit ton of damage. But I haven't even gotten, like, a good close strong. As I was saying, the meter build is really difficult in this matchup. So that's the main reason SA2 sucks. SA2 also sucks because you can't do chicken combo on Yun. But that's less of an issue than you would think. That was first hit only, so I didn't have an ender. Or I didn't have anything good to do. <laughs> Impressive. The extra meter is kind of nice for SA2, but EX moves are not super duper useful versus Yon, to be honest. I tried to backdash there and I fucking missed it because I buffered it too early in the freeze. And then I was just walking back, which is still not horrible, but you know. Uh, I just did it. I cashed out. I was like, you know, hope he doesn't do anything. Hope he doesn't parry all this. And he didn't. That EX stomp par parry is actually kind of annoying. It's three hits, but um, the window is probably not what you would expect. So I got one. I didn't get any sort of unblockable stuff. Yeah, what about those? That's what I get from my block shoulder. More importantly, that's what I get from my block shoulder on if he like does an SA2 cancel. I mean SA3 cancel. Yeah. I tried to kind of broke his approach, which was a bit greedy. I don't feel like that was the right ender. I don't know, maybe he just wanted corner carry. I feel like he could have done something a little better, though. I don't know. That's desperate. Trying to parry someone Gennai you. Parry really doesn't help you there. You see his really weak ender? That was smart, because it ran out the Gennai time and allowed him to build a little bit of meter before the next round. This guy knows all the tricks. Oh, I tried to throw him, but he threw me. What went wrong? Just a close strong, it got far strong. Yeah, that's what you do versus EX Fireball. Just surrender a little bit of space, it's not a big deal. Or I spent meters, you spend space. At the end of the day, you're not really any worse off. Oh, he dropped it. That was desperate, but it worked. I'm not even doing it, but you can do, like, SA2 stuff there. Uh, this is too close to the corner, I think. I went for another one just to have extra fireball hits and get an overhead low mix-up. I think I had something there. Yeah, he was going for aggressive parries. Probably air parries, trying to anti -air, trying to catch my anti-air, but I waited till he landed. Ah, uh, this runs out as Genai time, so it's pretty good. I like having done this versus Twins in forever. You can cancel that uppercut into a super. And then that gives you a loop versus Twins. It's really weird. I'm looking pretty good this round, huh? Sure would suck if I lost it somehow. But you do have a loop versus Twins with SA2 by doing, like... Cross up medium kick, stay medium kick, heavy uppercut, super cancel, and then the super doesn't get any hits because the uppercut, like, you know, uh, has JP6 instantly. Uh oh. That was a parry by me. I was looking for a shoulder. He did a shoulder sooner than I was expecting. A lot of guns, if they're trying to chase you really quickly, rather than whiffing a uh, light kick or whatever, they'll do, um, uh, like a shoulder in or a dash punch in because the hitbox will cover them. But if they do that, you can parry it, and they can't cancel it, because it's a special move and not a normal. The shoulder is two parries, the dash punch is three, and also the number of parries is based on the range for the dash punch, which is kind of annoying. My movement's actually looking a little bit cleaner as we're playing. Again, Oro can, like, actually beat... Ugh, I should've just done air throw. Oro can beat, uh, Yun in neutral, or, like, at least go even with Yun in neutral. Well, I don't think that's true. I think this matchup is good for Yon because Yon wins in neutral. But, like, I can play neutral, which is something I'm currently not doing at all. Good block by him. He was literally content to eat empty jump throw because he knew I wouldn't do it there as well. 
excellent block strings of uh, low short into low forward. That was the startup of my fireball. I think he could have preempted it. You could see that it was the startup of my fireball during the super freeze, but he might not know that animation. By the first frame, that is. Nice. This guy's so smart. Every little thing he does is smart. Quite intimidating to play someone like this. I feel like he should just be raw activating instead of doing shoulder activate. I've gotten a few punishes on him because of that. TC activate is okay. Especially when it hits. That might have been minus. I have no idea. Dash punch on hit from point blank in super. Because it doesn't knock down in super. That was probably TC, but he timed it like it was, it was going to hit sooner than it did. So he only got the jump jab. Godlike by me. Ah, I went low. Didn't work. Parry into instant block. And now he's got the Gane, and now I don't really have a play. I think this kills me. Yeah, beautiful. Good game, Sky. I only played in the two because it was like 3 a.m. and I had like class the next day. But I hope you enjoyed.